Do you want a larger penis? Well, get up. What? Well, this is the read I have in front of me. What? The, oh, you're right. Sorry. Yes, it is on the other side. Sorry. We still rolling? Okay. In the future, a deadly epidemic has decimated humankind and turned them into mindless, fake-looking zombies. Scientists have tracked the origin of the condition to the terrible shows made by a television production company called... Steven, I don't have the next line. Oh, it's the title. Oh. The name's Lawrence. <laughs> I thought we were dead. I thought we were dead for sure. Oh, thank God, normal people. I never thought I'd... Oh, oh. What are you doing? He's one of them. No, I'm not. What's your favorite TV show then? Anything by Chuck Moore, he's a total genius. They just can't help themselves. How... How did you know? I helped create this. You? What caused this? Muff. What's Muff? What's Muff? Well... I was sat in a television study group, and I was slowly beginning to lose my mind. Wait. You were white? Sure was. I was young, white, middle class. If life was like a video game, <laughs> my was set on easy. New for Math Production. He's white. Morning, darling. Morning, honey. He's black. Don't be dissing rap, fool. What will they get up to next? One plays by the rules. Would you like a coffee? I like my coffee the way I like my wife. Sweet, strong, and gives me a lift in the morning. <laughs> I don't take no shit. The other fucks the rules. I like my coffee like I like my hoes. <laughs> the new season of Black Cup, White Cup, which critics are calling, please stop making this shit. And no comment. Uh-oh, fool! Fool! Stereotypes. <laughs> oh, OMG, that was so funny. I know, right? Fool! <laughs> Come on, guys. Calm down. I mean, yes, it's great that it's came back for its 14th season. It's a pile of shit. I'm sorry, but you're all morons. It's bollocks. It's just a rehash of every other shit television show ever. Most TV shows nowadays are just racial stereotypes, a lack of strong female characters, stupid puns and knob gags. Knob gags, like... Deep throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. TV shows nowadays are just bland and unoriginal, stealing ideas from other shows. Like, who remembers when television used to be an art form? Just it. Create ideas, inspire emotions. I oh, you know what? I'm done. I've had enough. I'm out. Who's with me? Phil. <laughs> <laughs> if you can really, really, really. Okay, fine. Th that's uncomfortable. Okay, this is. Oh, right. Well, no. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. This is. I hated what television had become. No creativity, no passion, no self-respect, no goddamn integrity. 
I was done with television for good. Television sucks balls. If I was in charge, I'd make better shows than this. Are you worried about television sucking balls? Do you think you could make better stuff than this? Yeah. Well, get your bottom down to mouth. Mouth? This sounds like music to my ears. <laughs> From 2002, Muff Productions has been the home to Britain's finest television production stroke broadcasting company. Shows created by Muff Productions brings in over 50 million views every single week. Sign me up yesterday if you can. <laughs> That's right, Bob. Muff Productions, giving back to the community is our motto, is our motto. In fact, Muff donates a large portion of his profits to charity every week. When did we start donating? You donate a large portion of your profits to charity every year. What? Whose idea was that? Mine. You said you love poor people. If we give them money, they're no longer poor. Use your fucking head, Fred. But, but I, I thought we wanted to reinvent the company. I was high. What do I give a fuck what other people think of us? I have a boat made out of cocaine and fucking hookers, friend. Fucking terminate this fuck. <laughs> Shit. We need a new Fred. Hey, you, cut! You want to work for a TV production company? Do I? Hi, uh, my name is Lawrence Kirk, and I think I might have a job here. Oh, who is it? I'm not really sure. I was walking down the street and some guy just yelled out the window, called me a cunt, and... That'll be JP. Right down the corridor, into the lift, third floor. Good luck. Thanks. You can't just expect me to just come up with an idea. I mean, it's really hard. Oh, something new, exciting, original. Fucking Jesus! Okay, so how about there's uh, there's uh, this uh, woman, and she uh, she gets the bus to work every day, but like on the bus, she meets like loads of interesting people with like different backgrounds, and then we flashback to their stories and it's like really sincere. People don't want original ideas or whatever other fancy French words you have for it. They want the same shit painted a different color. What happens when a mama bird regurgitates her food? Hmm? All the little birdies come and eat that shit up. The general public, they're a lot like seagulls. It's okay to fuck them, as long as no one fucking catches you. What? All right, gang, hands in. Mouth! Teenage years can be really hard for a young man. I was on the playground, and all the other kids were making fun of each other. Like, you know, ah, oh, fuck your mom. No one would say that about my mom. Why won't anyone fuck you? No one fucks her. No one even tries to. Wouldn't you help if you could? The show where we take your mum and flip her upside down and turn her into a wow. The show where we can really change a kid's life. Your mum's some fine ass kids, you know, someone named big ass right. Pineapple and bongo motherfuckers. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some back on her act. You know, we're gonna get that fucking way. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this Frankenstein face. Get rid of that gag waist, let's get all And then we're gonna put her on one of them gluttonous free diets, you know what I'm gonna say? We're gonna polish this bird. Now, my 
my friends always want to come around. Thank you, Pepper Mom. The hit show from Math Productions that critics are calling absolutely unacceptable and more derogatory and offensive than Top Gear. I'm having certain days. Thanks, Muff TV, for pimping my mum. Pimp my mum every Thursdays this winter. After they shot down my idea and went for a more broader, accessible storyline, they sent me to get coffee. Wait, by the time I came back, everything was in full swing. Actors, cameras, extras, girls that wouldn't fuck me. It was amazing. I don't know how they organized it so quickly, but I wasn't willing to question their method. No, no way. A company couldn't be this successful if they didn't know what they were doing, right? Here's your water in the Starbucks cup, sir. Jesus, everything tastes better in a brand, buddy. Mm. Hey, uh, listen, could you do me a solid on this one? Uh, don't give any to the, uh, fucking ethnic, ethnic cunts. Huh? I hate white people. White ass honky motherfuckers. Look at him, he's just fucking looking at us with his fucking round eye. Hey, round eye. Look at him, he's probably plotting 9-11 right fucking now. You know what crackers fucking need? Jeez, you fucking like that? He's a fucking jeez. Look, what are you fucking looking at? Yeah, I'll tell you what you're looking at. You're next fucking meal, you little fucking cheese-eating cunt. Come on, I wanna go home. But, JP, you're white and so am I. Hey, don't you remind me. And you're young and so fucking stupid. You'll grow out of it. Jesus, that's why I love this guy. Christian Amenagog. Yeah, me and this guy, we started the company from the ground up. Me with a, just a crazy kid with a crazy ass dream and him with his 50 million pounds. 50 million? Nigerian royalty. You know, says he needs somebody's bank details, can transfer over a large sum of money, and if I help him, I get to keep some of the fucking money. So, you know, I'm not a fucking idiot. <gasps> Those emails were legitimate? Of course, you fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Without this guy's money, we could have never started. And uh, Mr. JP said he's going to reimburse me oh, all of the millions fuck. as soon as his tax Returns. Uh, yeah, as soon as I get my moon tax money. Moon tax. All right, let's fucking do this. And remember, everyone, this is the first episode, so it doesn't have to be that great. All we got to do is show Monkey Public who the characters are. Storyline, not important. Mouth! <sighs> Jason, I know JP loves his fucking charity stuff, but there's not so much you can do with all this stuff from cancer research. I mean, let's go. And the fucking browser was so tiny! Our dear Theo here is in charge of the marketing, and he also runs the continuity. Continuity? You know, continuity, when you keep consistency between shots in a scene. Yeah, it's always so much easier though when my partner Chris is here. Sorry, Julia, when did you guys break up? Chris was my business partner. Do you think I'm gay? No, I, no. <laughs> you think Theodore, the king of clit, is homosexual? This man has slayed more pussy than a vet with Parkinson's. I don't, I just assume. You see what? That man can't look absolutely bitching without fucking loving a big fucking licky fucking hose up his fucking poop sheet, you fucking homophobe. Oh, I didn't, like, think. And both my parents were gay. So much you fucking mouth, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> or am I? Of course I am! <laughs> no, I'm not. I am! <laughs> Three times! <laughs> Don't worry about Theo. He's harmless on a Monday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> anyway. Oh, before we move on, I should really warn you. Me and Hillary have a thing. Like, uh... No, more like a star-crossed lovers fated to be together for eternity type thing. Ew. Let's press on. Hello, darling. Fuck off! I need to go. Ah!
was in the bar. Children, hmm? a scrotum of a man that's threatened to publish an article revealing what actually goes on in Muff. So, I've got his kids. Like, just... Aha. Uh -huh. Steve, lovely to hear from you. Yep, they're still alive. <clears throat> no, you can't talk to them. <clears throat> oh, Steve, that's wonderful news. You're a good man. <laughs> Fucking move. Uh, I need to post this. No, I, I really feel like... No, maybe. Possibly. Air holes, maybe. Just... For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking move! That's it, everyone. That's a wrap. Fucking excellent job, people. How is that possible? You've only been filming for like an hour. It's a fucking half hour episode, you fucking fuck. We're disappointed in you, Lawrence. Torrenting on set just to fuel this coffee addiction. You pissed yourself whilst on the job. It's in the edit, guys. It looks fucking jitstacular. I'm a nasty shark. I just. I don't understand. I, I thought it took months to make a sitcom. Only a good one. Hey, listen, let's head her back to the fucking studio and watch this shit, eh? Would one of you fucking cracker fucks find my fucking champagne? Jesus Christ, there's a reason these cunts weren't slaves, huh? <laughs> there's several. <laughs> miss him so much, you know? Oh, Libby, you should be happy you have a boyfriend. <laughs> My love life is costing me a fortune in batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I'm sure he misses you. No, he always seems to get it on my face. <laughs> I was talking to the dog. <laughs> hey, Buster! Hey! You're such a bumhole! Oh, yeah, I thought you were the only bitch in this house. <laughs> wow! Wow! Lush. Just lush. Best thing we've ever done. No! No? 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 No! No, I, I'm sorry, but that was just awful. Just awful. So, it was just generic, bland, sexist, hack. It wasn't even funny. Then why were the audience laughing? They weren't laughing. That was a laughter track. You added a laughter track because you knew the actual audience wouldn't laugh at any of these jokes. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Are you adding a laughter track to everything I said? <laughs> Fucking what? <sighs> Fucking okay. Fuck yeah. Fucking all right then. <laughs> Fucking bye. 50 million viewers, baby. As long as we don't use any new writers or any new talent, we get two seasons. How is that even possible? We just watched it. This makes no sense. <laughs> Let me stop you there. We're not here to make sense. We're here to make television. You know what? I'm done. I thought I was done with television and this kind of just confirmed it for me. So you know what? Thank you very much for the opportunity, but I guess I do have integrity. After all. You know what? I'm proud of this kid. He's got style. I mean, who else would walk away from a 70 grand a year paycheck? Uh, you know what? It's important to not give up on your dreams.
dreams because you never know what you achieve when you stick to your dreams. And 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 maybe I can make a change. It's one of the things. I'm young. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Who knows what I'm capable of? Can I have a drink of this because yeah. I kind of feel like maybe Sharon thought it. Hey, and welcome to hell, Larry. You stupid fucking god. Even though they were responsible for making terrible television and exposing a weakness in my integrity, a show guilty of all the cliches, sappy music, slow motion shots, getting some ethereal voice to come over the top to round the whole episode up. <laughs> Pathetic. But it was my dream job, and I genuinely believed I could make a difference. This was the start of my very own adventure and the beginning of the end.